One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. There's always a remnant of good people around us. Then the Lord said to him, go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when you arrive, anoint Hazel as king over Syria. Also, you shall anoint Jehu, the son of Nimshi, as king over Israel, and Elisha, the son of Shaphat of Abel, Mehola. You shall anoint as prophet in your place. It shall be that whoever escapes the sword of Hazel, Jehu will kill, and whoever escapes the sword of Jehu, Elisha will kill. Yet I have reserved 7,000 in Israel, all whose knees have not bowed to Baal, and every mouth that has not kissed him. 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 15 to 18, New King James Version. Sometimes you feel all alone. Sometimes you feel like you're the only one that is trying to do the right thing. If you go to work, you find wickedness there. If you go to the grocery store before you leave the market, someone has done something outlandish. You turn on your television set, and all that you see are the evil deeds of man. And unfortunately, you may run into a hypocrite in the church causing you to question everything and say, where are any good people in this world? That is how Elijah felt in 1 Kings chapter 19. However, God had to humble him and let him know that there were thousands of people out there that were like him. In this case, they did not bow down to the false god Baal. Even more, to make Elijah come out of his depression, he assigned Elijah tasks to do before he would be taken from this earth. We must remember this as well. God has people all over that are trying to do what is right, even if it is not apparent to us at the moment. Yes, hypocrites will be in the church, but there are more righteous by far than hypocrites in the church. Because John's vision in Revelation shows us that there will be a number that no man can count in the heavenly glory. Revelation chapter 7 verse 9 and verse 10. Stay encouraged. You are never the only one. You have other people trying to live right and the Lord with you at all times anyway. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 and 20. God bless you. Thanks for listening. If you have not made Jesus Christ the head of your life for salvation, don't delay another day. The Bible says that we must obey the gospel. Romans chapter 10, verse 16. This is done by being exposed to, believing and adhering to the word of God as delivered to us in the New Testament of the Bible. For short, it is called Obeying God's Plan of Salvation. Please see my accompanying video entitled, The Six Things That Save, in order to do so today. You can reach it by going to the YouTube link below or scanning the QR code below with your cell phone. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901 www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.